Moshi Moshi Secure. Today we are gonna kill Thomas the Tank Engine, a stand user, a giant who stole the sun, Dracula, the Moon King and many more. That's basically killer is dead. Any questions? No? Then let us start at the beginning. You play as Mondo Zeppa, an executioner who works for the official executioner office of the United States. Your boss is Brian, who is half Terry Crews, half Terminator and half Cigar. Your colleague, Vivian, who is not only attractive, has 16 arms, but is also British. And last and possibly least, your sidekick Mika, who is an annoying high school girl who does nothing productive, except when you die and wife you with an airstrop on your chest and CPR. The ones with sharp eye may have already noticed that the game has a certain look. People say that cell shading look ages like fine wine. Well, I think that phrase is a bit off. However, it was never a AAA title, so let's just cut the game some slack. Because I didn't know how to structure this video, we are just gonna talk about the story as we go and sprinkle in the gameplay aspects. So let us start this low budget Devil May Cry. Let us start with a story, episode 1, the man who chose the moon. We just die. But not really, just kidding. Killer is dead. Episode 2, Killer is dead. Oh my, I see we start off strong. Mika, Our mission is to assassinate huh? the previous hitman or mean, executioner. Sir? Spill your wine on the target, and please make it look natural. Here we get to know Mika and our boss Brian. Yes, sir. Yeah, by going against the state. That's evil, man. Now, let the killing begin. Episode 3, A Woman of Pain. More backstory. Here today. I'm his assistant Mika, and I'll be helping him out. <laughs> we operate solely on tax dollars. So we can't afford to waste a single moment. So, who's our client? Good. He should be here any second. I already am. Ooh, awkward situation. An artist hires us to execute a monster in France. Now we need the $10,000 up front for our services. What? Isn't the state supposed to pay for the execution? That's why you shouldn't trust the government and never pay taxes. You will get scammed anyway. Huh. I didn't know the architecture of France looked like an MC Escher painting. More reasons not to visit this hellscape known as France. We are here to execute a woman named Alice. Could this be a reference to Alice in Wonderland? Alice. After giving Alicia free presents, the keyboard stairs is now in place to reach Alice. I'm a certified blood drying nurse, Scarlet. You nice to meet you, Scarlet. It only has your so, just as you know, Alicia is Alice. Before. For how long? A year. I took a vacation to the moon, and ever since I returned, she just casually visited the moon, burned. as you do. His name. I need his name. I remember. David. David. Nothing against the name David, but it sounds kind of lame for a main antagonist. Mondo, am I a tortured soul? I've seen enough anime monster girls, but boys, sometimes it's not worth it. After cutting off both her legs, it's time for the head. The dodging in this game is one of the most satisfying mechanics I experienced in my whole life. If you manage to dodge an attack in the right moment, you will activate Burst Rush and let me tell you, it really feels like a burst of a dopamine. Killer is dead. Alright, I guess our next target is David. Now my death has been avenged. I greatly appreciate your help. Ah, yes. I forgot that we're in the sixth sense now. I see dead people. 
episode 4, The Man Who Stole the Moon. Please execute this man. He called himself David. Is it your first time on the dark side of the moon? Yeah, but... I got this feeling of deja vu. Don't overextend yourself. There's no oxygen. Why aren't I dead? That's a really good question. I didn't expect it to face off against the main antagonist in the fourth level, but here we are. What are you doing? I'm acquiring unparalleled power. Isn't this supposed to be an action game? And there's no alternative to crossing swords. Afraid not. Ah, uh -huh. breaking the fourth wall. For the sake of the game. It's one of those games. Uh, yeah, that's right. You only eat soft-boiled eggs. Heck of a diet. It's time to die. Not only is his name David, but he also dresses like some SoundCloud rapper at some music gala. There are no rules in execution. It's as though we've been living in different worlds. You've just never met me before. That explains why he was the boss on the fourth level, episode 5, She Who Eats Dreams. We get a bit of backstory of Mondo, but that's not important. What's important is the fight against the female Freddy Krueger. This fight is probably the most annoying in the game. You constantly have to find the right clone and attack only that one. Because if you dare and attack a clone on accident, you get a POV shot from the clone's perspective. Creative? Yes. Good? No. Episode 51. The man who stole blood. Okay, this one is a filler episode, basically. I guess it also explains why it's labeled 51. Most likely a reference to Area 51. No, that was a lie. It's a reference to Suda51, the man responsible for this game. Here we meet Betty and find out that vampires are apparently real and have existed for a long time among us. So we go on a search for Dracula, um, excuse me, I mean Sebastian. Thankfully our unicorn Takeru is there to guide us inside the castle. I came forth to assist you. Huh? I know you? Unicorn? Have you forgotten, Master? I am Takeru. I am your unicorn. After going through his sex dungeon, we can't progress due to all the corona infected beds. Here we get to see legendary Brian and his Brian turret. Why well, he can't shoot by himself is a mystery to me, but let's not start asking questions. Now we get to face off Dracula. I promise you, I'll not forget those words. Killer is dead, at least for a fortnight. <laughs> And our price for killing Dracula is getting laid with a vampire woman. This is what you call your reward. Episode 6. The man who stole her ears. We are going to kill Mozart who is currently on his thousandth floor in his studio apartment. Our music man is on the top floor. If there's anything, I'll use the radio. Good luck. Let me also explain another feature in this game. If your combo is high enough, you get to choose an execution when dealing the killing blow to an enemy. Here you have four choices. Life XP, that increases your total health. Blood XP, that increases your total blood. Life, or upgrade crystals, which are the currency that is used for upgrading skills of Mondo. Also, there's the adrenaline rush. In this state, you can spend blood to instantly kill an enemy. But it only works on normal enemies, so the special enemies first need to be weakened. Now we wait until we reach the top. Looks like you have some time on your hands. I'm not exactly twiddling my thumbs here. Aren't we supposed to be working? Oh, you're right. Sure is a tall building.
Do you think you could speak up a bit? Huh? And so, I will mass produce these sounds of malice and transmit them throughout the world from this very tower, which will serve as an amplifier. Sorry, I think I missed a few key points there. I shall reveal to you my true form. Mozart really hit the gym, eh? We use our secret technique against the boss, dismembering. Alright, let's pause here. Let's do a bit of math. How about we find out how high we are? Just to have a perspective. We got two minutes until we crash to the ground floor. We don't want to make it too complex, so we're just gonna ignore the stuff like air resistance. We are constantly accelerating with the Earth's gravity, which will be around 9.81 meters per second squared. So we are just gonna use the simple equation, our height is 0.5 times g times time squared. I'm going to ignore the terminal velocity that we will theoretically reach and just assume that we are going to accelerate infinitely. If we just insert now our values, we get a height of 0.5 times 9.81 times 120 seconds squared, which will be around 70 kilometers or 44 miles in retard units. So our tower is built into the mesosphere. For those who don't know, it's above the stratosphere. The temperature should be around minus 60 degrees Celsius. But what's more alarming is that we are above the ozone layer. That means we are not protected from cosmic radiation and from meteors. Killer is dead. Here, have your ears back. The job's done. Please sign here. Please. Take good care of them. Their owner no longer belongs to this world. But with this... <laughs> ah yes, she was also dead. Mm, kinda. And our client was a bird. I should have expected it. Episode 7, the tiger that faded into darkness. So what's the job? Our target this time is Yakuza. Go bring me the head of their leader, Hamada Yama. It's time to go to Japan and execute a Yakuza boss. About your target, Hamada Yama. He's technically not a wires. Then what is he? He was originally human, but was transformed into one when the dark matter from the moon corrupted his soul. Dark matter. I always so thought dark matter would only cause explosions, but apparently it can ago. give you superpowers. To save his soul, I have to behead him. Hesitate for one second, and you'll be the dead one. Let us have a race Some with a tiger. It's time to fight him for real. Oh no, he's a stand user. That's it, I'm fucking sick of the Jojo jokes. It's time to die. Killer is dead. It turns out it was an old friend of Brian, and he was our client. Episode 8. She who dances and dreams. We are again in a dream sequence where we relive the fights we had until now. We get to know the backstory of Mondo and how his mother died and how he lost his arm. It was David all along. Getting rescued by a unicorn in Crashland at Brian's office. Oh man. Oh no, this can't be happening. Episode 9 The Giant Who Stole a Planet. As you can see, our experimental equipment suddenly went completely Colonel out of Sanders? control. Colonel Sanders, what are you doing here? Causing one researcher to morph into a monstrous giant. Wait, uh, just wait a second. 
A giant did what? The earth was stolen? Just what exactly does this all mean? He, he's still our plant. Okay. We had ghosts, vampires, monsters, unicorns, and transforming birds. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised of giant aliens, even though he claimed it was a former researcher. Ah, the Americans wow, mass-produced like the bad guys in their lab. I should have guessed it. Hmm. Now seeing him up close, I think he's a bit short to be stealing any planets. And he runs away. It's my policy to punish those who break the ultimate code of ethics. Say, do you think this game is ethical? Mm, that That's is none of my question. business. The fight against him is pretty easy and you only have to shoot him in the eyes three times. Killer is dead. Apparently he stole our planet while we are on it. And it looks a bit this small. Stolen? Our hand seems to be absorbing malice. Yes, I know. Should the situation call for it, I will. Huh? What language is that? I knew it. Aliens are real, and Colonel Sanders is one of them. Don't tell me. An alien? <laughs> We've got a new life form! <laughs> And he steals the planet. Hmm. A small sun? Which must mean this is our payment. I mean, that's better uh, than nothing. That Moscow is in danger. What? Did he just say Russia? Oh, oh, we're Russia. going to Russia. Episode 10, The Carrier of Love. The time for Thomas Tank Engine has come. Take a look. There's our target. Ah, oh, now I understand why you so quickly took the initiative on this mission. Alright, you can take point on this one. After fighting through the train, with the help from Brian, we continue. I'm trying to shift rails and send it away from the city, but it's frozen and won't budge. Boss, are you trying to push it with your hand? Why don't you stop pushing it by hand and use your motorcycle and a chain? Uh, yeah, I, I was just about to... What the... Mondo uses dismembering, it's very effective. The 
that looks gross. Golden Brian is back. Check it out. I patched up all the broken bits with a new super alloy. Not bad, huh? <laughs> he spent all our money from this job on his stupid modifications. Unbelievable. Machines are a man's romance. Ain't that right? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed it is. Episode 11. She who lives in dreams. No, not her again. Mika. Brian is the enemy. Execute him. Manipulating Mika, I see. Unfortunately for her, she chooses the most useless person on the team. And so, I want you to execute my nightmares. Execute a nightmare? This is in Brian's execution office dictionary. <laughs> this is a special sleep drug secretly developed at Area 151. But that drug is still experimental. We have no idea what the side effects will be. Well, ain't that a shame. I guess we better forget about the job. Boss. Wait. I'll take it. Me too. Well, our extremely competent employees have spoken. Gee, Vivian. What should we do? Suit yourselves. Did they die? Nah, they're just unconscious. It's time for Inception. Or Nightmare on Elm Street, Dream Warriors, whatever you prefer. Oh, back at the first level. I guess more backstory. Mika! Apparently we played David in the first level, not Mondo. I saw the whole thing. How you fell into darkness. Sir! I remembered everything. I'm so sorry. I'm actually... And come over here. Memories can never disappear. Um, excuse me, have you heard of dementia? Time to finally end our dream adventures and kill Dolly and her Indian god form. Now that we've come to the end, let me open Pandora's box for you. David is our brother. David. You've got to be kidding me. Killer is dead. Lies! 
Episode 12, Chosen by the Moon. It's time for the grand finale. I'm going to spare you the unnecessary dialogue, I'm giving you the gist of it. David is the king of the earth, Moon River is the ruler of the moon, and so is David, kinda, and Mika is the ruler of the sun, or at least she's in the possession of the sun. The first phase of the fight is the same as in episode 4. In the second phase, he transformed into Ultimondo. Yes, that is his official name. You wrecked your palace. In the third phase, we go back to normal and fight against David, real human form, who has the same kit as us. Don't make me repeat myself. You talk too much. Killer is dead. End of this, it's his end. I see. I understand now. Mom. So that's how it is. David. But we absorb his malice and Mono gets corrupted by the dark matter. Welcome, Mondo. Moon River fights another execution. And it is for Mondo. has become corrupted and the new ruler of the moon. But to not let it end on a dark tone, let us talk about the other missions that you can do throughout the game. Besides the main storyline, we also have a gigolo missions. If you don't know what a gigolo is, then you definitely ended up at the wrong place. Mono has a chance to get it on with the ladies, there are four in particular. Natalie, Koharu, Betty and Scarlet. The Jigolo missions work with a simple mechanic. You look at her, look away, back at her, 
away, at her, away, at her, away. And once you got enough courage, you give her a present. If you gave her enough gifts, it's time to start some action. There are also a few side missions, but let me tell you right now, they are not worth your time. They are just random arena fights or some gimmick trial with no real value except for some money. But if you want to farm money, I recommend you a different method. Just play the first episode of Nightmare Difficulty and to fasten this progress, just change the results.ini file and you can get several millions with only doing it once. Critique. The PC port is a piece of shit. The game is locked at 30 FPS and some weird resolution. There are ways to set the FPS to 60 or 120, but unfortunately that makes everything twice as fast which results in a level selection looking like that. And even worse, the QTE, like this. Now, I'm letting you on on a secret. You can't beat David if you need to spam the X button 200 times per second. There are a few fixes to make it work, but thanks to the top-notch port, it is a gamble if it will work for you at all. It's even possible that you only get around 10 FPS at all with a high-end PC. The music, if you want to call it that, is just there. It's not great, it's not bad, it's more like elevator ambient music. And the sound mixing is also weird. Sometimes you can't hear anything at all, and other times your ears get obliterated by the way too loud sound. Why did I decide to talk about this game? Well, I thought this obscure forgotten game didn't got the attention or recognition it deserved back in the day. So, I talked about it now. Even though objectively speaking, it's not that great. I'm giving the game a score of There was an attempt out of Metal Gear Rising. And if these words I hope you liked this video and have a nice day. Goodbye. The job killer is dead.